Alright right, guys, welcome to JW Foods in the Mill Butler on uh, Friday before Halloween. It's actually Halloween weekend. Um, some important things to talk about today regarding health and wellness. And one of the things that we stand for and pretty much our mission statement here at the, uh, at the plant and at our business. Gut health, and I know we were going to touch on that, we were, but um, I, it's, it's a great illustration of why we need to take care of our gut. So with Halloween coming, we're going to have a lot of candy, a lot of treats, and uh, one of the things that I'm looking for is what fuels the good and bad bacteria of the digestive system. Very, very important because you can eat clean, you can train me, you can do everything you want, but if you don't have a good gut, you're, uh, you're going to have a lot of health issues. So with Halloween right around the corner, coming up, I believe it's on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. um, with all the sugars that we're going to be putting into our digestive system, uh, bad bacteria thrives off that. So it's, it's, a, it's known. Everybody knows that, but we don't want to talk about it. And with bad bacteria comes a lot of health issues. Now, I'm not saying that candy and everything else is going gonna, is gonna to cause the issues right away, but over a long time, over a long period, it will. So one of the things that we're looking at here is uh, to rethink our gut health. And uh, a, pro a prebiotic is different than a probiotic. And I, I know I've, I've touched based on this a little earlier in the week, but I think it's important that we revisit it mm -hmm. because quite frankly, prebiotic, it stimulates the growth of healthy bacteria in your gut. It also improves your digestive system and support, um, your regular, 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 very, quite frankly, you're gonna be going to the washroom a little bit more. Regularity, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's gonna be very important. And on top of it, with, it, with doing that and getting the toxins out of your body, it and, increases your energy. Right. Sorry, go ahead, Roya. No, I was just gonna say, it increases energy, which is I'll the most important. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, I might have to stop for a second and put my Spartan uniform back on. <laughs> So there's no flavor, no taste to this, okay? Um, basically, it's uh, created by potato farmers in the East Coast. Um, one of the most purest forms of fueling your good bacteria in your digestive system. And we've had the privilege of carrying it now, yeah. So it's digest resistant. So most people are afraid, oh, I don't want potato starch in my gut. Right. It doesn't absorb, it doesn't digest, it's digest resistant, so it just flows through. It flows through you, but your, it your good, bacteria good bacteria feeds off only. it as it's going through. Right. Uh, but that's a valid, very, very good point. Uh, Thank you that's very, much. very, very, you're, it's like Batman or Robin here. <laughs> right? Except for you're the Catwoman, I guess. <laughs> All right, so very, very important that we're fueling ourselves correctly, okay? So that's number one. Eating clean is number two. Whether you're buying raw or fully cooked portion controlled meals, we offer them all. I'm not gonna get into it, but it's quite frankly, I, I will get into it. Four <laughs> ounce, six ounce, eight ounce. I've changed my diet and it's not really helped me. It is doing a, a small protein, small carb, and a lot of greens. Now, that's very important for the digestive system to have small protein, quite frankly, you only need 30 grams of protein per serving in order to be able to maintain and uh, build muscle. So it's more than enough. We got wild game, we got pretty much everything that you would need to live a healthier lifestyle. So, yeah. And to give the nutritional value and absorption from the vegetables, you can't do it without oh. olive oil. Hey. You get 40% well, more absorption. And, that, and that's right from the motherland. So, right. a very, 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 very good point. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. without wasting or taking up too much more of your time, uh, we're doing a, a very, very uh, important thing tonight with uh, Steve Faga. Um, this is a young man who uh, was diagnosed with MS uh, probably about 10, 15 years now, I think he's been at it. Um, he's fighting a battle. It's a, uh, it's. I, I hate to say the losing battle, but it's. Uh, he's fighting a battle. We're all fighting battles in life. But uh, Steve, how are you? Steve is uh, fighting an, uh, uh, a battle that uh, a lot of us hope we don't ever have to face, and that's MS. And the government is actually. So this is a problem with the, our government and everything else that we do. And I don't want to get too political, but a patient that has MS should not be denied CPP. That is absolutely ridiculous. We pay into a service that we need to have. Um, and when you get diagnosed with MS, there is no winning battle on this one. You are headed down a, a very, very um, dark path and you hope that you have a lot of friends and a lot of support that come in behind you and, and, and lift you up when you're feeling down. This young man um, is going through uh, quite the battle 
and uh, I'm going to say what it is, but he's in a wheelchair and a diaper, and uh, he's not that old. He's only in his 40s, I believe, and um, it's very, very sad to see somebody struggling like that. And then to hear that the government, um, the CPP that we pay into for, for this type of... Um, well, actually, CPP actually turns down 75% of the claims. So there's a lot, yeah. and that's going to stop. So that's my take on it. But uh, then you look at long-term disability that he was getting from work and stuff like that. And yes, it's it's it, you know it's going to cut off at a certain time. But uh, that's also very disheartening because now he's unemployable. He can't go anywhere. He's stuck in a in a in a condo that um, is being subsidized. Thank God. And uh, this poor gentleman has been diagnosed. I think since he's 25 years old. Mm. What 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 life does he have? He relies on support our government, and friends. our government, and the people of Canada. Quite frankly, should be coming behind people like this um, that are suffering that bad, that are unemployable, and that are going through a disease like this, and try to give them some sort of support. Make it, make them uh, live a, 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 a so-called a life of dignity. A life of dignity. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so tonight we're doing a function with um, we're supporting it uh, for MS Society and to help people that are struggling with diseases that are incurable. So I'll, I'll leave it at that because I just wanted to end with that. Um, we need to take care of each other and we need to show love and support. And we do it through food, but we also do it through helping organizations that are in deep trouble. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, let's uh, celebrate each other. Let's celebrate health and wellness. Let's celebrate gut, gut health, um, eating clean and training mean. Until next time, GW Foods and Emil Butler, with all our love, we'll see you. And check us out, subscribe to our YouTube channel at jwfoods.com or jwfoods or whatever it is. And uh, Instagram, Twitter, and all the other beautiful social media. Well, have a great weekend, have a great Halloween, and we'll see you soon. Look at our Spartan pumpkin.